Graphic body cam video reveals how a shootout unfolded in the Sally Port of Police Headquarters. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Barbara Lee Edwards. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. San Diego police say on Sunday a man they just arrested was able to break free from handcuffs and grab an officer's backup gun. They say he fired at least one round and officers returned fire. Our Marcella Lee joins us now with a closer look at the video that was released earlier tonight. Marcella. Carlo and Barbara Lee officers arrested the man at a hotel downtown after a 911 caller said he threatened to stab hotel staff. Police say they found methamphetamine in his pockets along with five credit cards that weren't his and took him into custody without incident. But when they got back to the Sally Port, chaos erupted. And we do want to warn you, the video is graphic and may be disturbing to some. Let me see your hands. hands. Let me see your hands right now. This body cam video released by San Diego police shows 25 year old Keith Bergman with his hands free. Police say while waiting in the vehicle alone, he was able to slip out of his handcuffs, break the partition to the cargo area and grab a backpack to get to an officer's backup handgun. He's got a gun. He's got a gun. Watch your crossfire. Officers try to get him to drop the weapon. Bro, let me see your hands. Stop. We don't want to shoot you. Nobody wants to shoot you, bro. Let me see your hands. Let's back up. Let's back up. Officers back up, and moments later, the man fires out of the back of the vehicle. Police highlight the moment right here. From this angle, you hear the shots. Police say the first one's from the suspect, then two officers fire back, hitting Bergman in the torso. Bergman then reaches through the broken glass, opens the door, and tries to open the cargo door. Shoot me! Hey, hey, get away from the vehicle! Move your hands right now! Stop reaching! Stop reaching right now! As he walks toward the front of the car, police say a third officer fires shots, believing Bergman is pointing a gun at them. A canine is sent in to take him down. Police say once the handgun is secure, officers begin first aid until paramedics arrive. Police say his injuries are not life-threatening. The officers involved in the shooting have been identified as Timothy Ariola, an eight-year veteran of the department, Paul Yee, a six-year veteran, and Michael Rodriguez, who's been on the force for 10 months. Bergman faces a number of charges, including attempted murder and assault with a deadly weapon. Police will be sending the case to the district attorney's office. They say internal affairs will conduct an investigation. The shooting review board and community review board on police practices will evaluate what happened. And the FBI and U.S. attorney's office will monitor the case. Back to you.